It's been seven years since Naughty Dog introduced us to Joel and Ellie, and gamers fell in love with The Last of Us. Well, get ready to fall in love all over again. Hey everybody, I'm Ricky with WatchMojo, and today we'll be letting you know everything you need to know about The Last of Us Part 2. Maybe they're staring at you. Or not. For this list, we'll be looking at all the exciting features leading up to Naughty Dog's highly anticipated sequel. Let's see what they have in store at number 10. You can't stop this. Number 10, Gustavo Santolala returning. The number of confirmed deaths has passed 200. The governor has called a state of emergency. There are hundreds and hundreds of bodies lining the streets. Over the years, Naughty Dog has proven that video games can be enriching cinematic experiences. And part of what helped The Last of Us achieve this was Gustavo Santolala's haunting and melancholic score. The Argentine musician, known for minimalist compositions, used a variety of string instruments during quieter moments to capture the game's mournful tone. but he also used heavy percussion to convey the dangers of this post-apocalyptic landscape. And it worked wonders, even earning an Excellence in Musical Score Award at South by Southwest. Santalala is no stranger to accolades, however, as he also took home Oscars for his work on Brokeback Mountain and Babel. And if he weren't returning, it would feel like an essential piece was missing. Number nine, you play as Ellie. Shit. The first game had players controlling Joel, though Ellie was playable for small portions toward the end. This time around, Ellie takes center stage. The Last of Us was very much Joel's story, exploring how he coped with the loss of his daughter and accepted Ellie as a surrogate. From everything we've seen so far, part two looks to explore Ellie more deeply as an adult. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. In fact, Joel has been suspiciously absent from most of the marketing, and at E3 2018, writer and creative director Neil Druckmann stated that Ellie is the only playable character. It's possible, however, that Naughty Dog just didn't want to give anything away. But it seems that, at least for most of the game, we'll be controlling Joel's former sidekick. <laughs> Number eight, a new setting. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books. Part two will take place five years after the end of the first game, and we'll see parts of the US we didn't see before. The Last of Us had Joel and Ellie trekking across the country looking for Safe Harbor and the Fireflies. Locations like Boston, Pittsburgh, and Salt Lake City were all explored equally. While there will be other locations, like Ellie's commune in Jackson and Wyoming, the main city of the sequel will be Seattle. This road of revenge, she finds herself in Seattle, uh, pitted against this group that controls the city. Naughty Dog's meticulous eye for detail should show how this area was impacted by the outbreak and how survivors have adapted. Some may have formed a positive community, others, like the violently militaristic Washington Liberation Front, not so much. Uh, they're kind of a a little bit like a militia that has taken over the town and they have a very zero tolerance. Number seven, no multiplayer. Burn, no! The Last of Us is revered for its single player campaign as it should be. But one of the game's most surprising inclusions was its faction based multiplayer. Players sided with the Hunters or Fireflies in three different game modes, gathering necessary supplies and crafting in order to get the upper hand. It was surprisingly good, which is why many have been disappointed to learn that Part 2 will be single player only. According to co-director Anthony Newman, the game became so big that they had to solely focus on the story mode. It isn't all bad though. Some form of online multiplayer will come later, there's just no telling when that will be. Number six, a more violent experience. Hey! 
The first game was already plenty violent, with heaps of grisly carnage and explosive peril waiting around every corner. But from what we've seen so far, part two looks to make players even more uncomfortable. Gameplay footage has been visceral, gritty, and messy. Part of this comes from improved visuals, making the violence more realistic. But the sound design from the E3 2018 footage was also appropriately unsettling. Then there are the religious seraphites to consider, who seem to relish in performing ritualistic executions. Part 2 will also be more mature all around. In addition to the blood and gore you'd expect, it will include nudity, sexual content, and drug use. Number 5. New Gameplay Elements At a glance, gameplay from both games seem fairly similar. But Naughty Dog is taking a more lively approach with Ellie. She's more agile and nimble than Joel, able to jump and go prone to hide from enemies. She can dodge, with animations varying depending on weapon type and angle of attack. There's also a greater pressure placed on players to survive during combat. For example, if Ellie is hit with an arrow, it creates a status effect that hinders aiming and disables the listen mode. Only getting to safety and removing it will make the effect go away. Additionally, players will be able to upgrade Ellie through skill trees like survival, crafting, and stealth. You are really able to pursue the playstyle of your choice. Number 4. Smarter Enemy AI Dogs have a new sense of perception to bring to the table, which kind of puts this uh, really interesting wrinkle on stealth gameplay where so far you've been dealing with sight and sound, trying to stay out of sight, trying to move slowly to be quiet. It'll take more than some tall grass to fool these guys. Naughty Dog have seemingly worked very hard to ensure that the enemies of Part 2 feel incredibly human, meaning they'll team up and use deductive reasoning in order to find your hiding places. Even if you're stealthily killing your way through a horde of baddies, others will be able to follow your trail of carnage to hunt you down. And some will even bring hunting dogs along to sniff you out. Each confrontation requires strategic thinking. On top of that, each enemy has also been given a name their friends will cry out once they find their body. It lends each situation more emotional weight, making you question your actions all the more. To make a fully realized world, to really honor the impact of this violence, you have to honor every person in it. Nobody's a hero here. Number 3. Hallie Gross Co-Writing We really wanted to wait until we had something awesome and new and exciting to talk about because we've been so mysterious. While Neil Druckmann wrote The Last of Us on his own, he's got some help for the sequel. Hallie Gross, an accomplished TV writer, joined as co-writer and narrative lead in 2016. Gross is best known for her works on Westworld and Too Old to Die Young. Patrolling the outskirts of Jackson, looking for infected to clear out to keep the area safe. While Gross hasn't written for a video game before, she seems deeply in tune with exploring how vicious experiences will impact Ellie's growth. She wants to challenge players by having Ellie deal with as of yet unknown trauma. But it's also crucial to challenge Ellie as a character, having grown up in such an awful world. I'm gonna find... and I'm gonna kill... every last one of them. Number 2. An Unclear Story Although gameplay has been explored in depth through demos, the plot of Part 2 certainly hasn't. Naughty Dog has only given brief details, such as Ellie being on a mission of revenge. You really gonna go through with this? One trailer made it seem like revenge for Dina, a new character and love interest. But it doesn't seem like Naughty Dog would spoil a character's death. It's also unclear how Anna and the Seraphites fit in, why Ellie finds herself rescuing Tommy in Seattle as seen in the press demo, or if the Fireflies are still prominent. And what happened during the five-year gap between games? Did Ellie find out what Joel did? There's so much we don't know, but it will be all the more tantalizing when we do. Get off me! Please stop! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. 
an ambitious undertaking. So much of this game is a conversation about the cycle of violence and how do we make violence feel impactful to the player. Naughty Dog have grown to be one of the most respected developers of the video game industry, from Crash Bandicoot to Uncharted to the award-winning The Last of Us. But Neil Druckmann has promised their upcoming title will be their biggest, most expensive game yet. So this is the next evolution of our Naughty Dog engine, as far as lighting, as far as our character pipeline, how we do muscle deformation, rain effects, even like our facial performance is this whole new rig and whole new pipeline so we can get an even truer performance to what we're capturing on stage. It is reportedly so big that it will ship with two discs. The story is so emotionally complex that it required the game to be longer than anything else Naughty Dog has produced. And apparently, everything we've seen has only scratched the surface. It's incredibly exciting to see creators on the cusp of what could be their best work yet. And we can't wait to see if their ambitions pay off. From what's been revealed so far, it seems like Naughty Dog have really outdone themselves with this sequel, but that's to be expected from one of the best developers in all of gaming. Friends, thank you so much for stopping by. Please drop a comment letting me know which one of these features you're most excited for, and I'll see you next time.